lovely little room with all your old junk. Junk? Junk? That is not junk, Raquel. That is my stock. Your stock, old junk, same thing. Look, Raquel, you don't seem to understand. Don't you remember that someone broke into the garage and nicked off my junk stock? <laughs> That's why I had to bring the rest of it up here for its own protection. Oh, Del, hasn't it dawned on you yet? All you have in that room is what the thieves left behind. <laughs> How the hell do you hope to sell it when the burglars wouldn't take it for free? <laughs> 150 Brussels peas. I know. Well, fashion changes so fast in the pop world, I was taken unaware. 275 free Nelson Mandela t shirts. <laughs> I know, look, I bought these on the Thursday evening. By Saturday morning, he was out on parole. <laughs> How was I to know that, eh? <laughs> Charles and Di wedding plates. Nothing that a good sorting out wouldn't cure. <laughs> a nine-carat identity bracelet inscribed with name Gary. <laughs> We've got a box full of men's wigs that you bought before Damien was born. 50 pirated versions of the Poseidon Adventure, oh. all on Betamax, <laughs> 200 litres of Romanian Riesling. <laughs> clear it out, Del. Dump it with the rest of the rubbish on your allotment. Just clear the room out and give it back to our baby. Yeah, but who's to say that I won't sell all this tomorrow? What are the chances of your bumping into a bald-headed, anti-apartheid, deep-sea diving Bross fan who has a Betamax video recorder, likes Romanian Riesling and whose name is Gary? <laughs> oh, I'll clear it out first thing in the morning. That would cheer me up, Del, really. I'll be a happy woman again, promise. Yeah, you wait till you see our mortgage. <laughs> Dear Lord, please let me prove to you that wealth won't spoil me. <laughs> Raquel said we had to help you clear this room out. Oh, yes, that's right, Rothers. Yeah, yeah, yes. We're going to clear all this out, you know, get rid of it, make a clean start. You're not getting rid of the wine, are you? Hmm? You could flop that to Mike at the next seat. No, I can't, Rod. He's a very good friend. And he's tasted it. Yeah, and he's tasted it. <laughs> What'd you buy that thing for? It was a surprise present for you, so you could go down and visit all the ships that you sailed in. <laughs> no, I read in one of them Sunday supplements somewhere that diving was all to go with the yuppies. Oh, they meant scuba. Huh? <laughs> Can't matter. Oh, dear. Seems a shame to throw it all away. Yeah, well, what else can I do with it? We can't put it in a garage. It ain't safe, is it? What about Grandad's shed? Hey, ain't what shed. One on his allotment. Well, your allotment now. Yeah, his old shed, you're right, Rodders. We could bug it all away there. Good thinking, Rodney. Right, tell you what we'll do. I'll go downstairs, open the van door. You two bring all this stuff down. 